So I uh, knew Dia and Ataman uh, for a long time and we have worked together before. And uh, when Diana was having a residency in Georgia, um, and I had been doing a lot of research in Georgia before, I really wanted her to meet some of my friends. So I remember I told her to uh, definitely meet with Tia Gvetadze, that it's my favorite artist in Georgia, it's very important. Um, and, uh, and then they met very shortly, actually for just like a coffee of 40 minutes. Um, and there was this uh, connection, that's what I understood. So um, when we were speaking with Diana um, two years ago, and we really wanted to uh, work together, to uh, do a larger project together, um, Diana mentioned that she would like to work with someone else so that it could be a duo show and uh, we uh, brainstormed, uh, uh, we thought about several people uh, and then she just mentioned, well maybe it could be Tea Gvetadze um, and I couldn't be happier because for me as a curator it's uh, really a, a, a good moment, it's, it's a moment of uh, this pleasure and realization that it's, uh, it's gonna work well when the artists actually already like each other and they want to work with each other and they want to have this dialogue. Because of course um, I could put some people together and see how it works and that has also worked. Uh, but this was this moment of serendipity that we realized, um, yeah, it just uh, has to happen like this. So in terms of their work, I think uh, both of them are actually really interesting because they work a lot uh, through their own personal stories and through their own experiences. And also, and that maybe is more true to uh, Diana, she works a lot with uh, her surroundings, her family, her friends, especially women around her. And then for Thea, she really has this amazing uh, capability of intimately observe life. Like she sees stories in people in life and then she makes them visible. Uh, and those are micro stories, those are like really small stories, it's not like these grand narratives. And the same applies to Diana. She really works with sometimes, you know, a, a very small, um, seemingly small story, but it contains a whole world, you know. And, um, and then what was interesting, of course, is that when two artists are together, um, it's also great that even though their uh, themes or, or their um, uh, motivations to do work um, are similar, but they work with different media. And so for Diana, of course, she's strongest in, in her photography, in, 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 in her like now also moving image and video. And then she, in this um, case, she wanted to experiment with uh, making ceramics, um, uh, and experiment with, uh, you know, singing, like recording sound and thinking where sound can guide you. And then for Thea, she really works with painting. So basically the installation also that we see behind me, it's, it's an installation by her with textile and this kind of like pigmented clay uh, put on the walls. But also I see it as an expanded painting. So essentially it's this painting where but it's just like three-dimensional. It really has this uh, distance. And then when we talked also there was this uh, feeling of, yeah, we are concerned about the same things in the world, you know, um, about womanhood, how we survive as women, how we survive as artists, and how, um, yeah, and what is the, our role in society, and what kind of spaces can we uh, make for people, for, for other people to, to come into and to welcome them. And then, which is very nice, I think that's why we called the show also Room for Many, that we really want to try to invite more people. So it's not only about Diana and Thea, um, uh, the two artists, it's also about uh, how they bring other stories, you know, like for example the story of uh, this Georgian woman in the Georgian Civil War who is, you know, still a friend of Thea, but also about, so for instance the cups that Diana made in this other room are for inviting uh, people uh, for this kind of tea ritual. Um, so we really um, hope that uh, 
um, to make this event uh, where people can come and share their stories. And I think that is why this room for many is so important, that we hold space not only for ourselves, you know, which is also important if we think about a uh, room of one's own, of uh, Virginia Woolf, of course, that's where, where the title also comes from. But we really need to think also how we hold space for many, um, for many people, for many stories. Um, and, um, and that's why I think, uh, yeah, in, especially in this political moment, it's, uh, it's an important uh, project.